and police are gearing up to handle the large crowds around the arena and throughout downtown. But as CTV's Ben Milger reports, unlike in other Canadian cities, there are no designated viewing areas for fans to gather outdoors to watch the games. In Toronto, when the Leafs score, thousands of fans erupt outside the arena. And it's the same in Edmonton and Winnipeg, where 5,000 people pack the outdoor fan zone. The Canucks do host outdoor pregame festivities, but there's nowhere for people to gather outside to watch the game, something many fans would like to see. Socializing and bringing people together is something that's kind of missing here, so that would be a good opportunity, actually, yeah. 1,000%, yes, yeah, we need more of that. Oh, that'd be kind of fun, yeah. Yeah, as long as it doesn't turn into a bit of a riot like we had a few years ago. In 2011, over 50,000 people packed West Georgia Street to watch the Canucks in the final, with many in the crowd bringing their own booze. We know from previous experience, not just here in Vancouver, but in other major cities, especially with large sporting events, a lot of the problems that happen in terms of violence, fights, disorder occurs uh, when people are over consuming liquor. In other Canadian cities, the viewing parties are ticketed with limited capacity and fans have to pass through security gates to enter. We continue to discuss with all parties what may be possible for future rounds, the City of Vancouver said in response to questions about possible viewing parties. Vancouver police are part of that conversation as well. As those conversations progress, if this playoff run progresses, which we all hope it does, and we'll provide our input from a public safety perspective. Whether we see outdoor viewing parties this spring could depend entirely on how far the Canucks advance in the playoffs. Ben Milger, CTV News, Vancouver.